Hello pretties, welcome to Bev's Girl. This is, I think, like my fourth attempt to try to film this video. I've been having some technical difficulties and because I don't have a community tab, I haven't been able to like, you know, send a message to let you guys know that I'm having technical issues. So here we are. And I have lipstick in my teeth. I just reapplied my lipstick. Also, happy Pride Month. I'm wearing my Pride shirt today. Um, and yeah, so this video is obviously very late. Sorry about that, but letter nate than ever. So, we have my project plan update. Honestly, not my best update, but next month should be a pretty good one, and the month after that should be another pretty good one. It's almost always like this with me at the very beginning of the, of the year. It's kind of slow, and then it kind of eases up as we go along. I'm going to talk about first about the product that should have been a slam dunk, but honestly hasn't, and it's because it's a lip product, and it's I'm just not going to use this kind of lip product thingies. I'm glad I just came to that realization. I did use this one. There's still some product in there. I'm not going to bother with it. I'm actually going to roll this out. And I'm going to put um, this in because one time use things that I can just put in the morning and then not have to worry about again for the rest of the day. This is where I would probably thrive. So I'm actually going to roll this one in. I expect this one to be gone. I'm thinking that I'm going to try the nude shade as like my... <clears throat> what's it called like all over face I think that might I might be able to pass this one off I think I'm gonna try to use this one as like a cream bronzer and I'm thinking if I combine both of these I probably will end up somewhere here where I can probably pull it off for the day <laughs> um, this lipstick is keeps going in my teeth um, so I'm hoping that I can use this ones or like on my actual face and then this one could be like a cream bronzer kind of situation okay also Guess what's going on in July? It's my mid-year check-in inventory. And because of this, I am gonna move things around a bit because it just I just need them to get out for the mid-inventory so I can see some changes in my inventory. And hence, I'm gonna switch some things out. Okay, first things first, it's my curl corrector. I'm actually gonna take it out. And because I actually already filmed this video, um, <laughs> I had already put it away. But it's my color correction. I'm actually starting to see that it, it, some changes in it, although it's still, right now it's pulling out a full wand. Um, but I actually think this one's gonna be probably gone in August. I'm starting to like notice it pulling down. So I think if I actually were to focus on this, it probably would be out, but I'm actually gonna roll it out for a bit. And the reason for it is because I'm gonna bring in my Sigma color corrector because I can actually get this one done in a month. <laughs> it, there's not a lot of product in here and it goes really, really quickly, so. Yeah, I'm actually already using it today in my under eyes area and actually it's better coverage than the other one. So this one should be gone like two, three weeks maybe. For sure it will be gone by the end of the month and hence when I do my inventory, it would be there. Then I have my uh, concealers. I actually ended up taking out the stopper from both of them. Technically the Milani one could have kept the stopper for a little longer, but it is what it is. There is honestly just not that much product in there left. And I'm actually surprised I was able to take the stopper. I actually took the stopper before when I f filmed this video on camera and was able to get it out. That was my... Jesus Christ. Uh, I dropped the other one. Okay. And I was able to finally... Because I've owned this one before and I've never been able to take out that stopper before. So pretty glad about that one. I'm pretty confident this one should be gone by the end of the month. And then this one from ColourPop, I also took out the stopper and even... Up the stopper like nothing comes out it's completely empty so I'm expecting this one to be also gone by the end of the month which will be really exciting to have to conceal this out um, yeah <laughs> alright foundation um, I did make a little progress I know it looks like it's settled up here but it's really down here and I can see it I actually wore it today I've decided because this is the thing this progress that you guys see these lines this is from like five to eight uses normally uh, and I'm able to make that much products from just like five to eight uses so, I've told myself that I'm really, 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 really going to try to get this one out by the mid-year inventory. And because I really just don't have that much left, if I were to essentially quadruple this progress, which this was like three uses, by the way, maybe four. Um, if I were to quadruple this, then I should potentially, technically, be able to finish it. So, I'm giving myself a goal, 20 uses, every single day that I go to work this week, because there's ex uh, this month, there's exactly 20 working days for me, I will be using this foundation. That's the goal. Is this, right, four weeks? I think so, maybe five. Anyway. I'm giving myself 20 uses. I'm gonna try to get this out and out of my collection, 
by the end of the month and just not think about it because I do not love this foundation. Once I can pump it out, we're done so. I'm not gonna dig out, I'm not gonna take product out, I'm not doing any of that. It's just as soon as I can pump out, we're calling it quits. Um, also, I finally realized I don't like this foundation. <laughs> it took me a long time, it's actually my second bottle. I thought I didn't like the first one because it was the wrong undertone. And this one, I really realized it's actually too drying for my skin type. I have extremely dry skin, and although this is a hydrating, um, like kind of everyday foundation, for my skin type, it's actually quite dry. <laughs> And that's actually why I don't like it. On um, the similar sense that I've decided that I'm gonna, you know, um, do this one 20 uses, I'm gonna do the, thing that, the same thing with the highlighter. Although with this highlighter, I actually don't think I'm gonna be able to finish in 20 uses. I think that I can actually finish that foundation in 20 uses. I don't think I can finish this highlighter in 20 uses. But if I, I wanna see what it's at after 20 uses. If I'm somewhat close to being finished with it, maybe I'll be able to finish it by August. But I really just don't wanna work with this anymore. I am already decided I'm going to put a, a liquid highlighter after this one that I'm really, really looking forward to. So this one has to get used. Alright. Bronzer. Alright. <laughs> so for my bronzer, this is kind of where I'm at. I did some... I, I feel like it looks pretty good. It's super super thing. I actually expect this entire area to kind of be gone by the next update. Um, I'm still confident that I can probably finish this by the end of the year. So no concerns on from me currently, no at all. Um, and then there's the the bronzer. I honestly it was only like three or four times, but I did use it today. So there's that. Um, I did decide to roll out my blush, so I have my construction black, uh, blush. I, I, this one is like really dip pan right here, but I decided to roll it out because I want to actually get something out by the end of the month, uh, the month, right? And I, there's no way I'm gonna finish that one. And honestly, it's not even gonna take that long. It's gonna take maybe like two weeks because there's like two weeks worth of product on this little, this little baby. I'm actually wearing this one, and then I topped it uh, with a little bit of this right here. So. It's a combination of both what you're seeing here, and I like it. And because I've been pulling out for this blush, it's been forcing me to pull out for this bronzer, so I used it a little bit today. Not a lot, but at least I got some usage out of it. Hopefully it'll help me reach for this one a bit more. All right, let's see, what else we got? Um, oh gosh, let me stand it up. <laughs> okay. Um, I did use these a few times. I'm hoping to use it a bit more often, but I'm actually wearing it today in the inner corner. There you go. Um, so yeah, pretty happy about that. Sorry, I, I didn't want to take off my glasses, but I was like, I'm just being silly because I've been wearing this makeup all day and I know it's like picked up completely at the inner area from my glasses, but it's silly of me to do that. Um, I've been using it. This is one where I'm honestly just putting in this to try to reach for it, not necessarily because I want to do anything with it. So no concerns at this time. And the one that I'm surprised I haven't hit pan on, honestly, I, but I'm confident that it will be gone by August is this one right here. Cause let me tell you, I can almost feel the pan. Like when I touch it like this, I feel like my fingers are almost touching each other. Like it's, there's almost nothing in here. I will tell you though, because it is pretty well, like it's pretty evened out. The moment this hits pan, this is gonna go quickly because it's pretty evened out. I'm hoping that I'll hit pan by next month <laughs> so that it will be gone by August. Fingers crossed, that's the plan here. Um, this one I'm still using just kind of for the inner corner and it's going slowly but surely, it's, it's going. No concerns there so far. All right, um, what else? Let me see. Oh, I did finish this thing uh, last time. It was almost gone last time, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update from that. My primer, um, my primer is gone because my sister was here 
and apparently she let me know that the Elf Gripping Primer is her favorite primer and she had forgotten it at home and so when she was came over to visit me I just told her to keep it because honestly I did not like it and so if somebody else was gonna get use out of it I was like go for it girl so I'm putting something else in as you guys know I usually use two primers I use the Elf Putty Primer in here and then I use my ColourPop one all over my face I actually had already marked it and it, you can see the line is a little bit underneath it and that's because I already used it today again I marked this when I originally tried to film this video um, so that being said I think this one's gonna take a couple months it almost always takes me about five months to six months to finish one of these I finished many 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 of these but for the first time ever I'm not gonna repurchase it once this one's done and I'm gonna use my rare beauty one because my rare beauty one works essentially those two primers combined as one it does the same thing as both. Also, I got an other uh, primer deluxe sample, whatever, deluxe mini sample. That's another gift with purchase. <laughs> I don't know, but this was from Yves Saint Laurent. I've never tried anything from this brand because it's not cruelty free, honestly. Um, and it sounds description wise the same as the Rare Beauty one, to be honest. It's a illuminating, hydrating, uh, blurring primer. Now, this is my thing though. Can you guys see that? Those little glitter specks in there? Does that make it better? No, that made it worse. There's glitter in this primer. Very strange to me. So I don't know how I'm gonna like it, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna focus on this little one. I really, really, really want to get that big one out. Um, so if I can get this those two out, that would be amazing. Um, so that's what we're gonna work on. Um I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish any bronzers. By the end of the month, I do think I'm gonna be able to finish that little, this little one. I do think I'm gonna finish this one a month. I do think those concealers will be done by the end of the month, and by the next update, really. And I do think this one's gonna be finished by next update, along with this gloss. Um, so again, the line is here, but I'm actually like down here because I used it today. <laughs> again, I filmed this before. If you can tell perfect example um, this will be gone by the end of the month I, it took me a little longer to finish this one that I thought the reason was because I was having a hard time figuring out how to work it and the reason is that it's a lot more pigmented than I thought it was and so I was having a hard time like pairing it something that I've been liking to do is actually put ghosted underneath because it's I don't particularly love the undertones that's been too intense but if I pair it with um, the gloss from Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk. There you go. <laughs> um, I actually like how it mutes this one and it actually works out pretty well. The problem is, and I, I tried to mark it last time, You, I, it, there's really not an update line because it hasn't really moved much, even though I've been using it quite often. I think I've been using it like three or four times a week combining these two. But I guess because I'm only like doing like one swipe and then like blurring it out and then I'm doing this, it, it just doesn't go as quickly. It is what it is. Um, because I've been using this pink one more, I haven't used this one as much and the line is slightly low, like I could have made a line, but it was so small that I didn't think it was worth it. This is kind of where we're at guys. Um, there's not a lot left. I would like to be able to focus on this one, but this one's actually going to take a bit of a back seat at this time because it just doesn't go with this blush right here. <laughs> Cause it's more like a plump, a cool toned kind of thing and that's more of like an warm red um yeah so it's, this one's not gonna get once once this is done i'll go back to that red for a bit or if i feel like using it then i'll do it um i have my eyeliner i actually did sharpen it and i've come to the realization that unless i use it as an actual wing liner or some like I'm an actual lid this thing's gonna be here forever i'm actually using it today and then i just mushed it out and it was actually worked out pretty well i can tell it is getting dried up <laughs> So I'm just putting that back until it's getting dried up. Um, but I'm hoping if I do this like two times a week, then it will go a lot faster. Um, because if I'm just putting it on my waterline and that's it, it will take a whole month of me doing that before I have to sharpen it. Or if not two, actually, because that's what happened to me last time. So I'm hoping that if I do that, then it will go a lot quicker. Then we have my lip liner, if I can find it. I did end up sharpening it and actually using it today. Um, I actually do like the way this one mixes with Ghosted, the pink. 
it kind of mutes that pink a bit. And that's kind of what you're seeing here. It's, it looks pretty good. Um, this is a slight change, I think. When I first did the line, uh, or when I first looked at it yesterday, there was really no change. Eh, it's not really a lot of change, but I haven't really been reaching for this as much as I would have thought, even though I actually like this liner. I've used it like maybe three times last month. Um, and even though I sharpened it, you can't even tell that I sharpened it because the line didn't move. Um, but I'll try. I'll try to play, play this one with the pink with the ghost a little bit more because I think those work really well together. Is that everything, guys? I've been thinking about my project plan situation for next year already. I know. We're only halfway through the year. But I think I'm... I'm gonna... I think this is really messy for me to do one project pan and it has so many different items in it. It does have a lot of items that I've been wanting to work on and a lot of long-term items. But realistically, I just don't think this was my smartest move. It is what it is. But next year, I'm thinking I'm gonna do about four if not five project pans and then just have a lot less products in each of them. I think that just works a little bit better and it's a little more fun for me <laughs> and especially if I get to rotate and do things a little bit different um yeah I'm just putting that out there also I received a shit ton of t uh, samples all right there was this thing Sephora was telling me about there was like oh you can do it was like a free gift with purchase but you got a bunch of samples I got a bunch of samples of all concealer <laughs> have the Mario concealer we have the um, well, this one's not concealer this one is the beautiful skin foundation thingy from Charlotte Tilbury Let's see what else we got we got Gucci concealer this ones are big by the way um, we got Tarte concealer we got Tarte 28 concealer we have makeup forever concealer this makeup forever ones are I think these are decent sized you know we have another Yves Saint Laurent's and then we have Rare Beauty Concealer. I'm hoping that I'll actually be able to find my actual shade because I have a Rare Beauty Concealer but it's way wrong. So I'm hoping I can get in the correct family so that I can try to find just the right undertone. Anyway, so that's why I, I was telling you guys I need to just move that lip one out and try to put some of these in because I gotta get some of these. I, wanna, I have to get some of these out honestly. I think I might bring, and this is another reason why I was thinking next year I might end up bringing back the um, Advent Calendar Project Pen because that was mostly like samples and stuff and, and kind of have some of these in there. But it really depends on how I do for the rest of the year with the samples. Because if I'm able to like really knock out some samples for the rest of this year, then maybe I won't do that. But if I'm not able to do that, then maybe I will. Alright, that's it for today. Um, let me know what's something you're excited about finishing soon or that you've already finished in your project pen and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!